Hey guys, what's up? Today we're not talking about this pistol, we're talking about this nice shiny little piece of gold here. This right here is a gold-plated magazine release for the Glock 43X48 and MOS versions. Let's talk about it. All right, so Tyrant Designs. We've done some, or not Tyrant Designs. This is Tyrant Designs. It is Tyrant Designs. I thought it was somebody else for a second. Tyrant Designs CNC, Tyrant CNC. We've done some stuff with them before. And before I really get into this, because this is a super long video, probably actually a pretty short video, um, these, both of these, the, the this is the steel one, right? The steel black and the steel gold, both of these were sent to me by Tyrant to make some videos and stuff about. From what I'm understanding, they're supposed to send me some more stuff later, um, some more upgrade things for this. But for now, all we got is these things. All we got is these things. So we did get these things from them. So for the purposes of making videos, making content and stuff, um, I just need to put that thing out there. So if anybody thinks they have to take without, what I say with a grain of salt, I should just keep a salt shaker on here. Um, that's your cue for this stuff was given to me for free. Um, but if you think you have to take what I say with a grain of salt, go for it. But I'm always going to give you my honest opinion. So if that is what it is. Let's just get into this. Um, right now, I have another, um, another company's uh, magazine release on here, so let's get rid of that guy, put him over here. Um, I would show you how to take this thing out, but it's very hard to do that on camera, to how to take the magazine release out. Basically, you have a, what's it called? Specific name for it, is it a rod spring? Some kind of, basically, it's a rod. It's a, it's like a rod. It's like a, it looks like a piece of pencil lead, right? It's just a steel pin spring, whatever. And it's sitting down inside on the front portion on the inside of the magazine well, and you have to take that little spring out. It's not very hard, it's just you gotta hold your teeth right and, and do things the right way. So I'm just gonna pop this guy out real quick and I'll show you what it is, what the pieces that I'm talking about. Okay, so word of caution, um, like I said, it's a hard spring, basically this is the spring. It's this little pin, basically. Don't use hardened steel files to get it out because they don't bend well. It broke, um, that thing broke. You use like a little tiny screwdriver or if you're one of those smart guys um, that went ahead and did it, if you have dental picks, it's a nice thing to have, especially for cleaning guns and stuff, but taking these things out, a dental pick would be great. This is just a little fine point um, screwdriver and it works fine. So get this other competitor brand thing out of the way because we're not talking about that. Um, this is a little pin you're talking about. And what happens, Get this guy out of the packaging. Um, the way that this guy sits in there, you see these little grooves. This is, right, yeah, you see these little grooves on the gold version. Um, there's the different grooves, depending on if you're right-sided, left-sided, however you're setting it up. And this little pin will sit inside that little groove. Hopefully that's showing up. It will sit in there, and it's pushing, in this case, it's pushing this way, right? So that when you push the button, this way, the spring bends over and tries to push it back. That's where you get your tension from. That's how this thing works, okay? So, I'm gonna stick this guy back in real quick. I'm gonna stick it up, because I'm a right-handed shooter. Um, so we're gonna set it up as a right-handed shooter. All right, so there you go. So now he's in there. Now you see the little gold flashy flashy. My understanding of it, from what they were telling me, this is, this is not just chrome stuff. From what I'm understanding, this is actually plated, which is going to be very, very finely plated gold. So it's kind of cool. I'm not really a gold accent kind of guy, but that is kind of interesting if you're into that. Uh, you see a lot of Instagram pictures and, and, and interesting characters running around with, you know, gold uh, stuff on their guns. I'd be scared I'm going to mess it up and break it, um, which is why I told them I prefer the black one. The gold one's cool, and I didn't expect them to send the gold one. The black one is generally what I would run with, but Nobody's really going to see this on your gun unless you pull it out. And if you pull it out and it's got gold on it, at least they get some eye candy or something uh, before something bad happens, I guess is what you could say. So, let's test some fit. I have some S15 magazines and some ODM magazines. Let's see if they fit, um, if they actually pop out, because there could be some big issues with the S15s and ODM magazines and aftermarket magazine releases. So, let's see what fits and what doesn't fit. All right, they were hiding from me for a second. Get the loaded one out of here. We don't have any ammo on the table. Okay, so here's an OEM. You can see stuff. Here's an OEM. Here is a Gen 1. Here's a Gen 1 chrome plated. That's completely wrong caliber. Um, here is a Gen 2 S15. 
Then here's my funky junky M9 conversion doohickey. All unloaded. Let's see what happens. Okay, so OEM should work. Nice positive click. Well, Tyrant. Are these specific? Why would you do that? There we go. Okay. Not a good sign for OEMs. However, let's see if S15s work. S15 goes in and out. Okay. How much engagement do we have? So we look at the height of the button. It should go down as we push the magazine in and pop out. So there appears to be a, a large amount of engagement, right? Which is probably why the OEM magazine is not wanting to function properly. Probably. Um, but there we go. So he's in there. That's the, uh, that's the Gen 1. Now, Gen 1 chrome, plate, chrome plated. Okay, that's a lot smoother. All right. Kind of. If the slide is forward, you have that tension on the follower. Okay. Here is a Gen 2 current generation of S15 magazine. Same thing. Let's see how much engagement we get with Gen 2s. Look at that little button. All right. So a good amount. Good amount of. Uh, tension. All right. Funky Junky M9 magazine. He's not. He doesn't even go in. All right. So it's tight. It's tight. So if you are are a a S15 guy, okay. If you're an S15 guy. These do appear to work. Okay. Gen one, Gen two. All right. And the thing is, is a lot of times, if you have, or with some magazine releases, not a lot of times, some magazine releases, I'm not gonna be touching the magazine release with the with the Shield Arms magazines. If you push it down and you drop the slide, sometimes those mags will fall out. All right, so Gen 2 S15 passes that. Here is a uh, Gen 1 Chrome. He passes that, all right, a Gen 1 um, actually, I think it has Cerakote on it. Nope, and he passes that, all right? So that works. Problem is, I'm not going to put him in there again. Um, the OEM magazine just didn't want to roll. He didn't want to roll, right? I'm hesitant to put another one in there. He was really sticky in there. So the, the Shield Arms, sorry to mention another company in here, but the Shield Arms magazine release has the same problem with OEM magazines, right? And this may be because... Why wouldn't you want to run S15 magazines? I don't know why you wouldn't want to run them. Why not? And sometimes uh, you need a slightly different magazine release when you're running S15s versus OEMs. That could be why. That could be why. If people are getting invested in these S15 magazines, that makes sense why they would want this uh, to be more specific towards S15 magazines, the magazine release. I'm gonna throw in the other magazine release and see if it's a one-off issue. Maybe maybe this particular one is different spec. I'm gonna put the black one in here and we'll take a look at that and see if that makes any difference. All right, so moment of truth, we have the black. And that actually looks very clean. Very nice subdued black, not a shiny black. This is generally what I would go with, not flashy things, um, but we'll see. We'll start out with the Gen 1 S15. All right, he actually, whoa, he actually, he pops out of there a little bit better. Maybe a spec thing, we'll see. Gen 1 chrome plated. Drop the magazine. Nope, good, drops out. All right, uh, Gen 2 S15. Locks it open. Okay, I can see that, that looks fine. All right, so they're not dropping out on accident. See how much engagement we have. Yep, still got good engagement on the Gen 1 chrome. Good engagement. Gen 1 Cerakote, technically. Yep, still good engagement. Let's see if the Funky Junkie, ah, see the Funky Junkie one will go in there, the Beretta magazine that I modified. It'll kind of start to go in there. The other one wasn't at all. OEM. Okay, OEM sticks a little bit, but it's easier to get out. Still a little bit sticky. Doesn't drop out by itself. It's a little sticky. This is not a, uh, you gotta grip it and rip it kind of thing, okay? 
But if you're an S15 guy, which I, I'm, I'm going to contact them and see, and hopefully, um, hopefully they're just marketing the S15 market instead of OEM market. If they are, then there you go. That's cool. So there you go. That's interesting. So that is a steel. They're not aluminum. They're steel. At least they say they're steel. Uh, magazine releases from Tire Design. This is what I believe is their current design right now. Um, the black one for me, because I'm not a flashy guy, I'm really not. Um, don't wear a lot of gold and silver bling and whatever. Um, this one makes more sense for me, okay? But for pictures sake and whatnot, I'll post some stuff on Instagram and stuff for them and for you and for everybody else. This shiny gold one right here is pretty interesting, right? And I think they make a, I think they make a lineup of gold plated accessories for not only the Glock 43X 48, right? Uh, but other Glocks and other SIGs and other models and stuff like that as well. So they have those if you're if you're into that kind of thing. It's interesting. Sometimes it's just kind of fun to dress up your gun, you know, make it a little bit flashy. Because really, it's only flashy for you. Because most of the time, if you're doing things right, nobody's ever going to see the gun anyway. Right? Pretty much. That's kind of the idea. Of it. Or if you're one of those range guys, you like to go out to the range and show everybody your cool stuff. And if you're one of those guys, then probably you like the flashy stuff anyway. Right? Probably, I would think. Maybe. That's it. That's the uh, that's the gold-plated magazine release and the black magazine release, the steel magazine releases from Tyrant Designs. Thank you guys for sending that out. Um, if anybody's got any questions about these, um, please do let me know. Um, again, just to wrap everything up, OEM magazines, sticky and not probably supposed to be used with these. That's my experience, maybe. Um, not maybe, that's my experience of the five minutes I've had this thing open. Um, S15 magazines, Gen 1s, um, Gen 2s, chrome plated, whatever, those seem to be fine. My own little workaround on these Beretta magazines, that doesn't work either. But S15 magazines seems to be the way to go if that's what you're trying to do with your with your 43X48. That's it. Y'all be good to be safe. Appreciate you watching, subscribing, and everything, and hopefully catch you guys in the next video.